Welcome to MarketTamer.com. It is Monday, July 6th, and nothing in this video constitutes a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As always, please contact your financial advisor if you're considering taking action on any position. Now, with all that said, let's get to the meat of this video. Uh, and in this video, I'd like to cover the adjustment process on a bear call position that I was uh, featuring on Watch the Pros some, oh, what, six or eight weeks ago. Right around May 18th, I was looking at this uh, stock, FLR, and my estimation at that stage was that the reflation thesis was not going to uh, take off, that uh, FLR was not going to rise substantially higher. And as you can see, right around that time, we had some choppiness, stock was going up and down, but it had <coughs> consistently failed at its 200-day moving average. And so my best estimate at that time was the stock would go down, uh, or at worst case, stay flat. So at the time, I was looking to enter a bear call, which actually featured uh, the ability to make money even if the stock rose a little bit all the way up to the $50 level. So I thought I'd really taken uh, good care of what the, the likely outcome would be in terms of, well, I'll make money if the stock goes down, if it stays flat, even if it rises slightly. Uh, and I was wrong and yet somehow made money. So how was that possible? Well, this is really the feature of what we teach at markettamer.com, that even if you're wrong, you can still make money. You just have to realize what your target exit points are, what your um, contingency exit plans are, and figure out what to do if something goes wrong. As it turns out, everything was looking actually okay for a couple of days, but then we had this move up. The first time we had a close above the 200-day moving average, and that subsequently spurred a continued move higher. In fact, we had a gap higher right around the uh, end of May, early June mark. A couple of down days followed by another big up day, and right around that uh, move up above 50, which was the short call price, short call strike price, that is, uh, that was my trigger point, which said, if the stock gets to that level, I must take action. And I did, and I posted an update on June 1st, which highlighted uh, what to do. And essentially, what we were looking at doing was rolling the entire trade higher at that point in time. So uh, essentially, the thesis there was the market will not continue higher indefinitely. At some point, it will pause. It did continue higher, obviously, uh, but my bear call was right around 55. That level was never breached, uh, so there was never reason to panic. Then we had a correction, which was pretty substantial, but the 55 strike short option had some premium still, so I was simply letting time decay eat away at this position. Then the market came right back up, or the FLR came right back up, and uh, as of today, we can see where it sits. Uh, it's right around the 50-day moving average. That is uh, potentially a support area for the stock. It may well continue lower. I don't know. But what I do know is that uh, the premium on the short option is minuscule right now, just 10 cents of premium, which means that the adjusted bear call spread trade has just about reached its maximum profit level. And my tendency in these situations is not to risk a reversal, uh, which could be considerable given the magnitude of the decline. It's always hard to tell whether there will be a considerable uh, backlash up higher. If that was the case, certainly I don't want to be part of it uh, just for the sake of holding out for 10 cents. The, the risk of uh, holding the position does not um, seem attractive at this point in time. So just keep in mind the steps. Uh, essentially enter the trade based on certain expectations. Expectations were not met and so once a trigger point was reached I invoked my contingency exit plan, took action, sat still, stayed patient while the stock uh, was moving very aggressively higher, remained patient as it kept going lower because the premium had not diminished substantially let time decay affect the trade. Ultimately, once this point had been reached, which could be support, the trade was closed at a profit. If you have any questions, jump in at markettamer.com.